Hi everyone and welcome back. I recently asked people on Instagram what trick they would want me to make a tutorial about and the most popular request was how to mount the rollers without having any kind of support. This is a pretty hard trick to learn, so I'll go over the skills needed to be able to do it and then do a step-by-step -step progression. The first thing we will do is practice coasting. Coasting on the rollers is one of my five essential skills to master on the rollers. If you haven't seen that video, I'll add the link in the description. While we're here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Please share it with your friends if you find information useful. Okay, with that being said, back to the tutorial. It might be hard at first to coast without losing balance, but keep practicing. Try to not oversteer your handlebars and balance yourself using your hips. The second step is to practice unclipping while coasting. Try to practice while having your clipped in foot at 6 and 12 o'clock. You could even try practicing that with a cycling shoe in your strong foot and a regular shoe in your other foot. You might feel safer and it will most probably be easier to learn that trick. If ever you start struggling and you feel tired, you should definitely take a rest and maybe start the next day. That way, you won't lose motivation and you'll come back stronger the next day anyway. Once you feel comfortable coasting and unclipping while coasting, you're ready to start mounting your rollers with no support. Don't forget to put your bike into a big gear. You want the rollers to get a lot of momentum on your first pedal stroke. Push hard on your pedal and stand on your pedal as fast as you can while engaging your core to keep the bike straight and to prevent it from moving forward. Sit on your saddle smoothly and start pedaling. It doesn't matter if both feet aren't clipped in. And then, Keep practicing and you will get it. You might not have rollers that allow for back and forth movement like the e-motion rollers I am using. So let's do it with my set of Kreidler rollers. It is the same idea, you just need more control of your back and forth weight balance. So the main challenge using regular rollers and trying this trick is not to fall off your rollers following the forward motion you exert on the bike trying to stand up on it, if that makes any sense. So to prevent that, you really need to engage your core and try to stay as smooth as possible when you stand on your pedals.
So that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this short movie and that you keep practicing on your rollers. I'll leave you with me struggling to get on the rollers using my track bike on my hot dog Chrysler rollers. Cheers! <laughs>